Hello everybody and welcome back to Roguelike Roulette. We are back again playing a Risk of Rain 2. Uh, and this time we are going to play as the Huntress. We're going to play a Monsoon and we are going to play with Monster Spawns Doubled and Monsters Drop Items on Death. Let's try that out. And we'll see how this goes. Been enjoying playing this game still. I hope you guys have been enjoying watching it too. And those of you that are playing on console, and there's a few of you out there that have been playing this game on the consoles, especially Switch, you are getting the uh, Artifacts update very, very soon, I'm pretty sure. So that's pretty exciting. Um, really nice to hear that for those uh, those of you over on the consoles. It's super upsetting to see that so many of the uh, console gamers miss out on a lot of the really interesting parts of this game. Well, I say this game. A lot of games. Let's be honest. A lot of games. Um... Yeah, people have been missing out on those. So it's a little, little setting in that terms. But people are starting to get their updates now. I think it's like the 26th, which is yesterday. Is it? Is it? Was it the 26th? It was something like that. Maybe it's the 26th of next month. Either way, it's something around that time frame. I'm not sure on the exact date. But well, that's going to be pretty hype. And also, and also, for those of you watching today, sneak preview of tomorrow. Tomorrow will be my 1000th video and if you like risk of rain you you will definitely want to check out the video that's going up tomorrow that will be saturday no sunday sorry that'll be sunday the 28th of the 6th you'll uh, you'll definitely want to be checking that out because there is uh, there is there's a bit of something for everyone in there but yeah especially those of you ooh fire rate here is brilliant uh, especially those of you that are interested in risk of rain will certainly be something that you want there it's always upsetting to get a lunar coin while you've got monsters drop items because it makes the same sound and you go oh an item nope just a lunar coin what we really want here is crit glasses crit glasses are insane with the um with the triple shot ability that we've got going on right now good thing is we, we can play relatively exploration free. Oh, that's quite nice. Uh, we don't have to look around for much. The main things we really want to see are shrines and bots to spend our money on. Otherwise, money doesn't do too much for us, really. Uh, rusted key really doesn't help us. I mean, 3D printers as well is something we might want to search around for. Uh, and also, the teleporter would be probably a decent idea. I haven't found that yet. There it is. I can see it from here. Look at those spikes in the distance. I do apologise if you can hear me uh, sniffling or wiping my nose or anything like that. I think I'm coming down with a bit of a cold. Don't worry, it ain't corona. I got a little bit of a cold and it's uh, affecting me a little bit, but it's not honestly that bad. It's it's always exacerbated when you've got anything nasally as a content creator because obviously it's very easy to hear. Even if it's not that inconvenient or hurting your health really, it's still very annoying to have because... All you guys have to hear me speaking like I've got some something stuck up my nose. Right, so boss shouldn't be too hard, I wouldn't imagine. We've got to remember we're on Monsoon here, so... There's certain possibilities. Okay, so we got two bosses off the bat, which is definitely going to make things harder. Um, I've not really seen a Monsoon double boss on the first stage yet, which is scary. So we're going to have to watch the hell out for that. Uh, yeah, we, we, we could genuinely die here. But the See, the bigger problem isn't actually the um, the bosses themselves. It's the riffraff. It's all of these guys that we're having to deal with at the same time as everything else. Uh, we've almost got one of the bosses down, which is very, very nice to see. Okay, that's one done. Wait, did it just drop a... Okay, I was like, did it just drop an item uh, when we killed the first boss? No, that's just a normal enemy that dropped a green item. We got a Topaz brooch. We got ourselves... Ooh, this is so good. Extra health regen. Also, the uh, the crit ocular hood is very, very good. Because we can get, like, the unlimited crits. And Bandolier, very, very nice for using our um, big boom. We might be able to get another item out of this here. We'll see. I hear you down there. I hear you. 
No extra item for us. Still, though, good first floor. We got, like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items. Is that seven? No, it's six. Oh, that is seven. Nice. And that kernel, whatever you want to call it, the, um... The, the little, little space rock. Yeah, the, um... Little kernel thing is very, very... I know it doesn't say kernel, but it's very, very nice. Extra health, regen, and extra maximum HP on Monsoon is big. And obviously the Turpaz brooch as well. Pretty huge. It's looking like a good day for us today. And as I said, we, we basically just find a place we want to set up and set up there. We definitely want to go up there and get ourselves that... Um, that uh, Shrine of the Mountain set up. Shrine of the Mountain, of course, makes the game more difficult, but ain't no bitch. I am always going to say yes to Shrine of the Mountain. Always. It is too fun and too lucrative to not. Boop, boop. I love the triple dash. I don't like the fact that you can't go up with it anymore, but it's still, it's still a very nice thing to have. Uh, so let's go and find our uh, teleporter, which seems to be over that way. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, having having two of our little discus things is super nice. But yeah, if we can go and find wherever our... Do you know what? It's time. Ocular Hood. You see what I mean? Ocular Hood's so good. We got the egg. We definitely don't want that. Ooh, double item drop. Tri-tip and um, armor plating. Armor plating's not too bad this early on. Tri-tip's also really good. We're hitting enemies quite often. Should have decent proc coefficient. Should have a good time with that. Right. I think it's over here. I swear I saw a glimpse of it while I was up top. That was that was over here. I may be entirely wrong. I think I was entirely wrong. Unless it was up on this bit? No. I'm not seeing any of the, the little, little crispies anywhere. Oop, another rusted key. Take you out. Oh, this is fun. I, I love playing as Huntress. I know that I've really like. There's like quite a few characters I just haven't played at all on this channel yet. It's just because I don't enjoy them as much. I think I think some of the base characters here are, are by far more enjoyable for me at least. I like their abilities more. I like how they play more. I like the item combinations more. I I, I don't know. I just I prefer them. And I don't think that's a crime. Okay, we did get an item there. Oh, no, we didn't. We got an item over there. Okay, we need to go back and get that. That is some armor-piercing rounds that I want. I did hit that guy, but didn't really do enough. But, yeah, I think it's going to be back over here, through this through this little gap over here, or it's going to be all the way at the back. So, let's check through here first. I've had it through here a few times. No... Sadly means we're wasting a little bit of time here that we don't really have to waste. Not getting many enemies spawning on us, though. Which is something. Damn it. Didn't quite get you. It's okay. You're, you're kind of stuck up there. I don't know what's going on with you. Okay, we're starting to get some more annoying enemies now. Okay, so it's got to be over here. Or it's just not, and I'm blind. The hell is it? Is it, like, right where I started or something? I'm genuinely quite confused. The hell's our boss? The hell's our teleporter? Wow. That, that almost hurt a lot. I am... I am very lost. A green item. Oh, wax quail's pretty good for us. Should we even get around a little quicker. Right, where the hell is it? I, I'm so confused. I've not even seen the little sparkly bits. Like, I, the only place I can imagine now is behind this wall. I don't even know if that was open. Right, we got it, we got it. Oh, we got a... Uh... Ah, nothing good. Yeah, so we need to make our way over this way now and go through the gap. That's literally the only place left though, isn't it? I'm pretty sure.
Yeah, there it is. There it is. Okay. Awkward spot, honestly. Kind of an awkward spot. We do have mountain here, so this could be pretty difficult. I should have waited for my ocular hood. That's a lot of wandering vagrants. That is a lot of wandering vagrants there. Vagrants, whatever you want to call it. We are going to be using... Um, we're going to be using this cover to the, to the most of our abilities here. I'm also going to take out all of you before you become a problem. That's a lot of active items game. It's, it's kind of taking the piss now. Okay, get triple crits with those. Fire up one of you. Okay, so we've got one of them doing his mega death attack. Honestly, the mega death attack isn't that bad for us because we've got cover. I really doubt it can hit us. We've still got enemies behind us as well, which is a problem. Okay, and also, don't use that there. Okay, so we've got another, another few blasts coming in. Okay, that's one of you dead. Throw that over. That's another one of you dead. I know we've only got one left, you know. You're pretty much dead. No, I believe isn't going to quite get you. Oh, really? I guess I'll take out you. Okay, so we've got two left. We've still got some brass contraptions over this way as well, which isn't great for us. Our ocular hood's almost ready. As long as we can get in cover, we should be fine here. Y'all gonna do your big blast. And that's gonna mean. Really? Oh, for God's sake. Okay, this me this should mean we have enough time to take you out normally now. Okay, good, good. What's the two items we get? We get ourselves. Two razor wires is pretty good. Uh, and we'll just leave. Okay, I'm happy with this. This is some pretty, pretty decent stuff. Pretty decent stuff. Razor wires, of course, is going to be uh, a burst of damage when we take damage. That's going to have increased damage and increased radius the more of them we have. So I'm happy to have two of them to start with. Should be pretty good. I'm hoping for a bunch of items here. Do you know what I'm really hoping to not have? Just uh, an absolute metric shit ton of active items. Which is apparently what the game thinks I want or need right now. Which is a little upsetting. Really shouldn't be using my, my discus attack when there's only one enemy. Need to kind of use it in groups to really make the most of it. I love doing that. Tell you what. Step into my abode. Wax Quail's helping us stay alive here. Getting us out of danger whenever we're jumping forward. Hey, there's a, a double item drop. More razor wire. We really need to be looking for our rusted lockbox because I think that should still spawn. And also, um, we have three rusted keys now. So the item, I think I think once you get up to three, the item has a chance to be legendary. It's still only low though. But we've got a high chance of it being, it being a green item at least. So we should definitely have a little peruse for that. Wow, that's a lot of boys. But luckily, the discus is coming in. Should get an item or two here. Yep, there's a tri-tip dagger. As expected. Oh, I love having so many discus from Bandolier here. It's great. I know it's called the Glaive, but whatever. And we get ourselves a focus crystal, which isn't great. Another Turpaz Brooch is very, very good. Okay, th this extra tri-tip is doing work right now. This extra tri-tip is great. Right, so what we got here? Fireworks. Interesting, but we're not going to take it. There's our lockbox. Green item coming in. I'd hope. Oh, sticky keys. No, thank you. Not sticky keys. Uh, yep, green item. And um, Rose Buckle is pretty damn good for us. We are sprinting a lot of the time here, and another Turpaz Brooch puts us in a great spot. And what are you giving us? Another Focus Crystal. I mean, we're up close and personal right now, so it's, it's helping right now at least.
I do apologize for my nurse. It's terrible, I know. I know. Uh, but this is this is going this is going reasonably well. So Fast Brooch is really the, the star of the show right now. As it always is, like if you're not a big fan of Surpass Brooch, just get out. We we, we could order Shrine. Uh, turns all of our items of each tier into just one. Which would be hilarious with certain items, but honestly, probably a bad idea. The only items we really have right now that I don't like is our uh, rusted key. Like, rust having this many rusted keys isn't really necessary. Right, uh, where are we looking for boss, are we? Where are we looking for boss? I don't actually know. That's right here. Okay. Easy enough. Ocular Hood's ready. We don't seem to have a, a good shrine to go on here. Magma Worm, which is annoying because I just used completely the wrong item here. We got an item there. Okay, we still we still got him with a few crits. There's two of them. Um, razor wire, I think, just 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 annihilated the boss there. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I think razor wire with the fire damage just annihilated it. I think that's what happened. We also got another surpass brooch. Wow. Wow! 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 I'm loving this. Yeah, set me on fire. Kill yourself. That's what you do best. Gotta remember everything spawning in doubles. If there's a thing, there's also another thing. We can still get items in this phase as well, so we want to be getting as many kills as we can. Right, with that, that should kill a lot of them. Yep, it did. I just love the fact that Bandolier, throw another. Bandolier, throw another. <laughs> Bandolier, throw another. Bandolier, throw another. The discuses are everywhere. Get too close to me, dude. Kill this last guy and then we'll go. I mean, these last two guys at least. Just in case. you got to check, haven't you? you got to check. Got to make sure there isn't some items up for grabs. But four Turpaz brooches here. As you can see, for that entire fight, we're almost at double HP, which is just ludicrously good. Ooh, they're bouncy. Right, so where are we looking? Of course, there'll be a boss spawned. There'll probably be an Elder Lemarian. Yep, right there. Really? Oh, for God's sake. Okay, so that went terribly. Luckily, he died, but I used my ability and it just jumped me into a really awkward position to which I couldn't hit them. It's annoying. I would like some crit glasses, though. They they would be very high on my list of things for me to have. How did... I'm not even going to question why you didn't take any damage there. So it seems that... It seems that DOTs on us, like bleed and fire are actually kind of a good thing. <laughs> like, it just kills everything when we get set on fire. We got a Hoopoo Feather as well. It's nice. Incinerator Drone. Another active Mysterious Egg. Right. We can still get the Legendary Chest on this, uh, this stage, remember. Probably means I shouldn't have bought that incendiary drone. Probably. Right, let's let's go and find out how much it is. We've got a shrine in the mountain there. Still not really sure if I'm gonna do that or not. 3,000 exactly, pretty much. Right, Elder Lemarian, you need to go straight away. I love it when they just shoot behind their back. Good, good, good. Getting rid of them is very important for us. We're almost up to a thousand. Yeah, hit me with your burn. 
DOTs don't mean shit to me. Teddy bear's pretty good. I'll take a teddy bear and Sindri drone. Taking on some stuff there. We've got our um, our boss right there. We seem to have a 3D printer up there for... Is that teddy bear or is that focus crystal? I think that's focus crystal. Oh, it could be gasoline, actually. Either way, I don't think I need it. We've died to these guys too many times, so you're getting taken care of. Last episode was an absolute shame. So, what we haven't found yet is the boss that spawned on this stage. There is... N not always, but almost always a boss that spawns on this stage. And we haven't found that yet. So I'm, I'm a bit... That is a, a stuck Elder Lemurian there. Right, let's take care of you. Let's pop up and through here and see if there's a boss stuck in here. There's definitely a green boy stuck up there. But we, we need to know. Because that boss... That boss could be a lot for us. A lot of money, that is. It definitely doesn't look like it, does it? It definitely doesn't look like it. A Paul's Goat Hub is pretty nice, though. And... Eh, squid Polyps, it's... It exists. Certainly it exists. I do love that. There's destruction there. And I'm kind of, I'm kind of tempted to, if this, if this happens, leave this to go for a bit of a longer run. Do not need the, uh, do not have the time to go back and get that Lunar Coin. I have 300. Okay, so we're almost at 2,000. It's apparent that there isn't a boss, which is surprising. Okay, we've got some DOT guys, bit of burn, all that jazz. Do you know what? Let's uh, make sure they die. Get our uh, get our crits going. Yeah, definitely glad we got rid of all you. We got a cautious slug down here. Don't know where you came from, but I'm happy we found you. I'm still unsure whether I want to take that or not. Um, I thought that was our rusty lock box then, but it's not. Okay, we're almost there. Oh, I do love how we can just get into the air and kind of escape that way right now. That's kind of fun. Heck it. Yeah, we'll do it. We need to take out some of these uh, some of these green boys that are hanging around. Because they, they, can, they can end our life very quickly. If we're going to get hit by one of them, we need protection. In the form of, like, lots of um, shielding from... Our Turpaz brooch. But now we have enough money. Which is nice. I like. So we'll head over there. See what our legendary is. Hopefully it's something very spicy. We get ourselves... Ugh. It's fine. It's not great. Being able to jump higher is nice. But it's not really that legendary status for us, to be honest. Right, let's take care of some of the more annoying enemies here. We get another med kit, which is more sustained, so, okay, I guess. And while we're at full full, um, Turpaz Brooch, well, that, not particularly what I was expecting. Now, these guys are going to apply bleed, which is going to mean we deal a lot of damage here. We have to be very, very careful, though, because the teleporting that they do, very deadly. But I, I don't know if any of them have actually died yet. I'm, I'm very unsure about that. We do have an item in there. It's only a fireworks, but... It seems that a few of them have just gone walkies, so to say. As long as we keep hitting things, we're going to be fine. We got um, a... A milky cephalus there, whatever that's called. Luckily, our, our huge jump height is allowing us to get out of the way of the more annoying attacks. This is mental. Absolutely mental. Mental. 
There's just items everywhere as well. Okay, that's another one dead, I think. I think we have three left. Four left. Four left. I kind of want to step on one of them things just to see if I get, like, crazy bleed damage applied. But also, I have a feeling it might one-shot me. So that's kind of probably not a good idea. If another one dead. It's mental. Absolutely crazy. ATG missile launcher there, I think, is that? Maybe? I can't tell. No, it's a sticky bomb. It's a, it was a sticky bomb on top of a... Um, on top of what's it called? Um, a bandolier box. It looked like one item. Definitely want the sticky bomb during this. It's crazy how, how little damage we're still doing here. The good thing is as well, that I haven't really spoke about for one, one minute, my nurse is just uh, betraying me again. Um, the good thing about this is, as well, we have crits heal, and as soon as we activate our HUD, we just get infinite crits. Which is awesome. It basically just means if we start losing health, which we haven't been, but even if we do, we can regain a lot of it. There you go. Oh, wait, no. Thought he was dead. Now he is, though. Wow, that was crazy. We got fuel cells, which is pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. Um, and, yeah, we'll be, just, we'll be just taking our leave of absence now. Making sure all the items are collected. And hecking the heck off. Well, that was insane. We have reached a, a status of very much unkillableness right now. I say right now because as soon as we start getting the... Uh, oh, well, that was lovely. <laughs> I've never been that lucky before in my life. Wow, this is a lot of annoying enemies. This is a lot of annoying enemies. Oh my god. This is a lot of annoying enemies. Right, can we see our boss thing at all from here? I'm looking for it. Oh, I see it, I see it. Okay, we're going over to that now. Whoa! Somewhere over here, yeah. It's just there, look. Now, the question is, do we want to auto-activate this and just get it done with now? I think the genuine answer is, heck yes, we do. It's a magma worm, which last time we absolutely destroyed, if you remember. So, sorry, magma worm, but you were going down. I hope. Also, one thing that to note that is a major problem right now, we are getting very, very few um, procs on our turquoise boy. We need to kill things for that to proc, so... Certainly a problem right now. Uh, things are starting to die, though. The chain has begun. The chain has begun. The chain of pain. That big boy there is, is a bit spooky. Wow, yeah, this is, this is not great. This is a bad spot for all this to be going down, really. I have to say... Also, 42 seconds for our ability here is, is very, very nice. Okay, so we're taking fire damage, which is dealing massive damage to everything. But also, we're taking quite massive damage as well. So I'm going to move the hell out of the way of that. Okay, so we got another one of these, which we definitely need. There's an Elder Lemaire in there, which we can probably take out. Yep. Got to remember that these Mushroom Boys are insanely difficult to deal with as well. We have an, a red whip there. We also have a Gorm's term, which is, of course, nothing. Essentially useless. Okay, I can't believe they're some of the easiest enemies right now. Finally, some crit glasses. Certainly a bit late, but it helps. Another bandolier. Nice. That's just, just so many things in midair. I'm just gonna go. Oh, we, we, we missed that whip, but genuinely, I'm okay with that. Okay, so we've got a wandering vagrant right here. Vagrant, what are you gonna call it? And a few dudes chilling. 
Dom's turns, Prox. He's the only boss right now. No, I stepped out a second too early. Oh, what a fun run though. That, that was that was very fun. Uh, I stepped out a second too early because of that uh, guy to the left. I think he actually pushed me a little bit and then I ended up stepping out and going too far. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy that. That was a really fun episode and I'll see you guys in the next one.